the best React.js IDE just got better. You see, previously, Codex let you build individual React components visually. You would get a live preview of your user's interface, your code, and your content all in a single window. But now they've extended this to your entire application. This means that you can design, develop, and deploy your entire web app all in one place. So let's take a look at what's changed. I'm gonna show you an app I'm building in Codex and why it's making my life so much easier. First, the biggest change, building full stack apps, which can now be done if you're running Remix. I know you might be asking, why not Next.js? However, Remix is a framework that has grown in popularity a lot, and so much so that OpenAI have decided to adopt them, using it in the latest version of ChatGPT. Remix web apps come with built-in navigation, state management, data loading, and they're quite fast compared to other frameworks. This is now all connected to Codex, which means Codex can now support navigation as well as dynamic pages, additional URL bars, which let you see what page you're on, passing parameters, which is essential if you're building a multi-page web app. And there's also a number of UI changes, including a UI panel that's added alongside boards. I'll get into this later, but it's essentially a visual style guide for all your components in one place. Classes and styles have a panel too that automatically show things like variables and colors and what things actually look like. Thirdly, at least to me, is a dark theme. I can now swap between having a light and a dark version of Codex, which is especially important to me since I'm a bit of a night owl, so staring at a white screen all night is terrible for my eyes. But really, there are hundreds of changes, and if you want to know them in greater detail, check out the release notes. But I think the best way to get an idea is by starting to use it. So I'm going to do that just now. Here on Google, I'm just going to search for Codex and head to the very first link, which is codex.com. I'll be able to download it here because it's a local installer and it is entirely free, so it doesn't cost anything to get up and running. I'm running Windows, so I'll select it here and select to install it. I've got it running here, and the first thing I'll do is swap it from light mode to dark mode. I'm going to be building an e-commerce application that's also connected to a headless service. The templates here make it easy to do since they come pre-configured with all the components ready to go. And while I can import external libraries, I'll skip past this step for now. This project here will be a good example to give you an idea of how everything is working in Codex right now. You'll get to see what tech is used here. Vite, Remix, SCSS, CSS modules, or React Router, and it also has the e-commerce from Wix. Just like any project, we need to install the NPM packages. Codex has a step here that automatically does this for you, so I'm gonna select to install these. It's kind of like running NPM install in your terminal, but but this is kind of like a GUI interface for that. And this project is now up and running. Here's a quick overview of the entire page. I have UI kits for things like the style guide, the project boards, which are things like the components themselves. On the top left here, I've got the menu, which has my files and folders, which I can browse to similar like I would to in say VS Code. Next, I have my global variables, which is like my theme colors and my topography. I have my Git panel for changes, my terminal panel for running different scripts, and my settings panel where I can change my config or my theme settings. Let me head back to the main dashboard. I want to view the main page here and I can do this by selecting the pages drop down just over here. If I select one of these, I'll head straight to that page. I'll begin here on the home page. On the left, I have my elements, which are all my different types of components. On the top, I've got my breadcrumbs and these actually update the elements on the left hand panel. Like right now, I can see my head and body tags. I'm going to log out of this application. I'm I'm going to log into another one, which is a home store. This is also one of the templates you can check out. And this one here, I want to showcase exactly how some of the UI elements and code work together. One new feature is this URL bar. It's kind of like your navigation. Since I'm on the home page, it's not visible. But if I head to different pages like the about us page, you can see that it's just over here. It's kind of like a display without the local host or domain name. But here, as I change different pages, you'll see that it changes alongside it. Additionally, dynamic pages are included. Since we're running on Remix, we can pass these in as props. Here, Bamboo Cutlery Set is being passed through and we're on this product page. This is also the same with slugs, such as the category page here, which defines a slug such as all products. And I can change this type of category by selecting different types of products, such as bath products. And you'll see the slug change at the top as well as the entire web app displaying the new type. And trust me, this is 
quite useful when you're building a large monolithic applications with a lots of types of categories and subpages that need this type of routing. If you head to the top right, you'll have this option here for editing or previewing. I'm going to select preview and I'm going to start navigating through this web app just like I would do in a browser. This allows me to both view the page and my changes in real time while also then being able to switch to edit them at any point in time too. Right now I'm viewing this page, letting me interact with it, but I want to edit it. So I'm going to select the top right option here to modify this page and I'm going to hover over some elements. I can select any element such as this button over here and I can modify it. I can also inspect it or duplicate it. All of this makes editing on the page quite easy because my source files are being updated in real time. The other part is adding blocks or elements to the page. On the top left menu, my add elements panel gives me all the traditional HTML blocks I can drag into the app. As an example, I'll drag in a basic button here next to the button I currently have. You'll notice it pops up here on the right hand side. It's not styled because we haven't added any kind of classes or anything to it. Before I get into that, the add elements has a few other things such as topography for all your headings, forms for when you need the user to do stuff, all elements if you need to interact with a specific type of HTML element. There are layouts such as the regular columns and rows. There are also components. These are any of the components currently inside of your project. And one of the newer ones here in the UI kit are all your different types of components and their variations, such as buttons and icons and accordions. So this is actually quite useful because I could select buttons and see my button variations here. And what I can do is select the one that I like and just add it straight to my web app, adding it right next to the existing button so I can see what that looks like. Let's say I want a different variation for this button. I can head over to this new UI kit section and this place is kind of like a style guide, except you get to view everything in one place and designers or external people can do the same. Right now, for this example, I want to create a duplicate of this component to create a sales button. I'll duplicate the one that I had here for the muted button and replace all this text calling it a sales button. I'm also going to change its styling. I'll get rid of this muted button class and create a new class here called sales button. I'll also update some of the styling here by going to the background and changing the background color to red and the text color to be a white color so that it still looks good in terms of contrast. And this new variation is now ready. And what's more is that if I go onto any of my pages and I want to add an element under the UI kits, I actually have this new variation listed and I can drag and drop it anywhere on the site. And it's one of the benefits that come with the new features in this latest release. All right, let's take a look at other elements on this page. I've got this nice accordion style component here and let's say I want to edit it. I'm currently viewing it. So if I wanted to edit it, I'll select the top right option here. On my left hand menus panel, I'll be browsed into this section. And then on the right hand panel, I'll have an editing screen, which I can modify different types of details. I'm going to select the header here. And for this div header, I'm going to modify the height, which is just here on the top right. I'm going to change it to 22 pixels and you'll see that all of them have been updated. Another cool thing is that I can select one of these properties, which are highlighted and view the code. This shows me exactly where in the code the set height is for this one class. And I can update this directly in my code. I could even update this in VS Code. And all the changes are live, previewed directly in the browser, previewed directly in the inspector panel on the right hand side and in the code at the same time. This takes live editing and previewing of your web app to a whole nother level. And this doesn't work just for classes, but it works for different types of elements too, such as all the elements here on the left hand side of my panel are also highlighted as I hover over and select them. And if I double click on them, I can view exactly where they're expressed in the actual component itself. Like in this example, this title is being passed down by its parent partner as a prop. All of this is great so far, but there are some extensions I like in VS Code. And this is where Codex also has a great feature that allows you to open up any styling, such as this one here for the font family in VS Code, and it'll take you directly to that styling file. This is the same with components. I can view this component inside of VS Code and it takes me directly to the folder that it's located in. You can just imagine how difficult it might be to find something like this normally if you're building a monolithic application, trying to browse through different folders just to find the right component. 
Here we were modifying the height before, and now I can do so inside of VS Code. I'm gonna change the height around. You can see that the live preview in Codex is updating. Additionally, the inspector on the right-hand side is being updated as well. As another classic example, I always find it hard to center and align different elements using flex. But with Codex, I can just head to this align panel on the bottom right, and it's visually showing how my CSS is updating, making the whole process much easier. This is just for a single component, and this component is in the source, but what if I wanted to modify this page itself? Since this is an application page, I would need to go to the part of the application this can be found. In this case, it's in the routes on the products page. So let me browse into routes, then head over to the product details and go into these pages. So I've got the CSS page and the route page. Here I can see how all the packages are being imported, especially the ones from Remix, where it's actually pulling in the product details. Then if I continue to scroll down, I'll be able to find the actual product that's being pulled in here from the use a loader data, another feature from Remix. And finally, I can go to the accordion I was in before. And here are where those props are being passed in, including the things like the accordion's title, which I can modify in this section here. So for example, I can pass in test and I'll see that on the right hand side here inside of Codex, this is automatically updated. All right, the final part. Let's say I've finished putting this web app together. I'm gonna connect it to Wix services and this lets me now publish it directly using the button just up here. Selecting publish will upload all your files, install all the dependencies, build your site and deploy it all in a single click onto this URL just here or a custom domain depending on what you've selected. And here it is running online now in just a few seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you to the team from Codex for sponsoring it. If you want to learn more about it, click the link in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.